In this video, I'm going to show you how to get proper and consistent focus with your Laser Packer 4. This doesn't apply to just this model or even this brand. Now, with each unit, there's going to be a different focal distance that is best for that unit, even of the same model types. So unit to unit, because of the variance in tolerance in the manufacturing process, there's going to be a different focal distance that is best for your laser. Now the Laser Packer 4 here, they say is about 15 centimeters is where the focus is at. What's confusing though is, is that from the glass or is that from the metal ring? The problem with using the red dots is as you move the laser, you can see the two dots come together and overlap. You can continue to move the laser and they will still seem to be overlapped for several clicks of moving the laser head up or down. So it's really hard to know when you have achieved perfect focus. This becomes even more apparent when you're using something like plywood and it's dispersing the light and it's really hard to tell when you have perfect focus. Another thing that's hard to get the focus distant consistent is it's hard to measure underneath the laser unit to the material that you are trying to engrave. What I have found that works best and easiest is measuring from the laser unit, the bottom of it, to the material that I'm engraving. I find that much easier than trying to just eyeball with the ruler the bottom of the lens to the material. So the first test we're going to do is a ramp test where we literally create a ramp underneath the laser and engrave a line across it. And as it goes, it's going to go from out of focus to in focus to out of focus. And when that happens, it's going to go from thick to thin to thick. And then when we find that thinnest area that we believe is the most in focus point, we can measure from that spot to the bottom of the laser unit. And then we can remember that that is the distance that we want to measure when we're engraving for the best focus for our particular unit. The second test we're going to do is just lay a piece of material set the focus at different distances and run a line across and then compare the thicknesses of the line. So we're going to end up measuring from the bottom of the laser enclosure and we're going to be looking for where the center of the area is. So what I'm going to do is take this speed square and I'm going to project a line along it to line up the laser on the speed square and then with the tape here. So it's out of focus, but I've positioned the laser along the center of the speed square. I'm gonna actually just move the laser down. That's about the center on that side. So what we're going to be doing is running a ramp test. I have this extra piece of plywood that I've taped to a bubble level to make a ramp. So we're going to put this underneath the laser, we're going to run a line, and what we want to do is capture the focus towards the center. So you can get the red dots aligned close enough in the center, and then we can run our test. So I have a line. And we have out of focus down here, in focus around here, and out of focus down there. And that's what we want so we can run this test. So I'm doing a line, and the settings for this are just the basswood plank, which is the 450 nanometer laser at 10% power and 20% depth. So it's the top line on the board here, and what you should be able to see here is it's thicker at the top there, it's thinner in the middle, and it's thicker at the bottom. So I kind of marked the very center where I think it's the thinnest, also where it's thin from the left to the right. Um, so now what I can do Take my ruler, 
and measure, put that as best I can straight underneath and measure and it's about 158, which is what I've previously found to be the best focus for this. So on the high end, well, which is actually the shorter focal distance, it's about 156 and 159 and a half. So that's what I've also found on this laser. About 156 to 158 is a good focal range for it with the best being around 157 and a half. Um, so we can run some other tests too. So we can take that off the bubble level, use the other side that's blank, we can put that down, run lines, and measure different distances from the bottom of the laser head down. Um, note those and then see the difference in the thickness of the lines. So actually I'm just gonna write on here so I'm going to do a test at 158, 157, and 156. Um, so this is where it becomes easy to measure. So the surface here to the side here. So that's right at 158. And then we're going to run our test. And then I'm gonna move the laser down to 157. It's about two clicks. I'm gonna leave a little bit of room, but I want the lines to be close so it's easier to compare them. And then we'll go measure at 156. They're all pretty close. I would say the 158 probably looks the best. So, and that's on the back side here when I was doing the ramp test, I said 158 looked the best. So previously I thought about 157 and a half is the best focus for this and that's what it looks like it is. So I hope this helped you figure out the best focal distance for your laser packer for using the 450 nanometer blue laser. In a future follow-up video, I'll work on the 1064 nanometer laser. And if this was helpful, please like, subscribe. And if you'd like to see future videos about specific topics on the Laser Packer 4, please put that in the comments below and I'll try and make a video about that.